the components required for this experiment are node mcu board voltage sensor lcd display i2c converter breadboard connecting cable and connecting wires Now log in to the bling.cloud website. Then go to developer zone. Here click on new template and give a template name. Now select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi and click on the done button. Now from the left side menu go to data streams. Here go to new data stream and select the virtual pin. Here select the variable name as voltage and select the pin as V1, data type as double and select the maximum value as 500. Now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and here drag the gauge widget. Now go to the settings and here choose the data stream and click on the save button now save the template now from the left side menu go to devices here click on new device and then select from template here choose the template which we created now click on the create button now we got the template id template name and authentication token copy this and paste in our program now enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Now upload the program to the Node MCU board. For that go to this drop down. Here the port will be automatically selected. So if you want to change the board click this edit button. Here you can choose the board which you are using. So I am using Node MC 1.0. So which is selected. Click the OK button. Now click this upload button. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now log into the application. Now you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template. Now click the settings icon. Now click the plus button from the bottom of the page. Here we need to add one gauge. Now click on the gauge and choose the data stream. Now if you want, go to design and we can give the title. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.